This model consists of uh, PV and EV battery and then grid. The PV is going to be connected to the common DC. So this is the common DC bus. So the PV is going to be connected to the common DC bus via this boost converter. This EV battery is going to be connected to the the common DC bus via this biodiversion converter and the grid will be connected to the common DC bus via this LCL filter and the converter and here the PV right PV going PV boost converter will be controlled by means of PCVPT that means here we are measuring the voltage and current of the PV so that the voltage and current going be converted into change in power right so that means here we have to delay that voltage by one sample current by one sample and voltage by one sample and then we have to calculate v of n we have to calculate uh, v of that means v of n and v of n minus one okay and then v of n v of n minus one so from that you have to calculate v of n minus v of n minus one and then here we have to calculate v of n minus v of n minus one so then you have to divide that uh, uh, p of n minus p of n minus 1 divided by v of n minus v of n minus 1 so this is nothing but slope slope error okay and then for slope error we are going to calculate a change in slope error so the change in slope error and slope error will be input for that fussy the output of fussy will be to decide okay so here you can this is the mdp to be your fussy so already created here so here you can go the right. So this is a MDPT for fuzzy. Just you go to type fuzzy and then open that fish file. So this is a fish file. So here you can see that uh, the pin uh, the membership function for error rate of change of error and then output to be cycle. You will see okay. And then they are related with the rules. So once you click this rules right. So when we change this value right, you can see here right the duty segment will be changed according with the error and the rate of change of error. Okay. So according with that uh, the error and the rate of change of error, the fuzzy duty segment will be changed in order to extract the, the maximum power from the PV plant. So this duty segment will be processed by a pedulum generator. So this pedulum generator will be changed at the pedulum pulse. This period pulse going to be used for control this post converter in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So, next thing is uh, control of uh, biodiversion converter. So, this control of biodiversion converter going to be done via this uh, voltage control method of uh, biodiversion DC DC converter. So, here you can see that we are measuring the DC bus voltage and it going to be compared with the 400 because we are going to maintain the DC bus voltage is 400 and it going to be processed via PID controller or PA controller the PA controller will be generated the duty cycle the duty cycle going to be processed via PDLM generator so this PDLM generator right is going to be generate the pulse for this biodiversion converter not to control the charging of battery and to charging a battery because here we are going to use the EV battery for charging only. So, we are going to control that biodiversion converter for charging mode only. So, next process inverter control that means uh, here we have inverter. So, here we have to control the inverter that means uh, we are going to control the inverter current right based upon the uh, power of battery that means. So, for example, we are going to fix the charging of battery around 2000 watts. Okay. So, already here you can see that the, the PV power is around this 2000 here we are using. So, we are charging the battery, EV battery with the 2000 watts. Okay. So, water power generated, well, maximum power generated that will be used to charge the battery. Okay, because it will be generated 2000 watts, so directly used to charge the battery 2000 watts because we are going to charge the battery at a constant power rate, right? So, here we are having converter, right? So, this charging power, right? So, charging power for the battery and then it will be 
subtracted with the PV, right? So that means, for example, when uh, the power of uh, PV is 2000 and reference power for battery charging is 2000, the remaining uh, will be zero, right? That means we are not taking any power from the grid, okay? For example, when PV power goes to 1000, right? So then uh, the actual power required is 2000 for battery charging. So remaining power will be minus 1000, okay? So here we are generating the reference current for that uh, the remaining power. So for minus 1000, so you have to divide with the and the peak value that mean divide with the peak voltage then here you will get uh, the peak rms sorry peak volt peak current for that uh, inverter current right so here you will get a reference current okay in the peak amplitude and then here we are using voltage okay voltage will be converted into sine pass by by means of pl so here we are using phase lock loop so phase lock loop used for generating the omega t so, I made nothing but phase angle uh, changes with respect to time. Okay, so V A nothing but uh, the voltage of the grid. Okay, so based upon voltage of the grid, right, you are generating sine and cosine. Okay, so then the sine and cosine will be multiplied with the that uh, peak amplitude. Okay, so here we are next we are applying that we are converting that AB form into DP form. So, by using transformation, power transformation. And also here you will see that right here we are measuring the inverter current okay so inverter current will be converted into ab to dq form so this will be act as a reference reference d and q and then here you have uh, actual d and q for that inverter current so again it will be compared here okay and then it will be processed by a pa controller so this will be generate the control signal in the form of d and q so the d and q control signal when we convert it a b form by using inverse power transformation okay so finally we will get the control signal so this control signal can be processed via pdm generator so this is a sinusoidal pdm generator so, so this sinusoidal pdm generator will be generate the rapid pulse for that uh, inverter okay so that means so based upon the reference current the inverter can be controlled in order to get the power from the grid okay so when PV will be generate maximum power that means 2000 watts so grid never supply any power to the battery for charging when PV power re reduce right then the grid will be comes to supply the power for a charger battery not to maintain the charging power of the PV sorry charging power of the EV battery is around 2000 watts so here you will see that right here you can see the measurement block right PV measurement DC bus measurement that means DC bus holding measurement, battery measurement, SOC of the battery, that means EV battery, and then here you will see that uh, grid voltage current and the power of the grid. So here you will see that power of uh, PV battery and the grid. Okay. So once you simulate this one, right, you will see the results of PV battery, SOC of the battery, grid side voltage current and power. So here you will see that, so it is a power of PV, right, that means here we are changing the radiation, okay. So here we are changing the radiation uh, from 1000 to 500 and then 10 again you have to change to 500 to 1000 and then you have to check the, the charging of battery and also power sharing of grid during that charging okay so here you will see that the power of uh, pv is 2000 and then so here you can the charging of battery right around the Near to 2000, around is 1900. Uh, 1, okay. Okay. And then you can see that when PV power reduced to around 1000 because of reduction in the radiation, right? So during that time, what happened? The group will be supplying the power. Okay. So group will be supplying power at the 
uh, uh, supplying power to the battery for charging, right? So you can see here, right? And during transition, right, the charging power uh, power is reduced after some time. It uh, comes to that uh, thousand one thousand nine hundred watts. Okay. So here you can see that. So when the PV power goes to zero, the grid will supply full power for charging of EV battery. So EV battery charging at the rate of the one thousand nine hundred watts. Okay. So this is variation of uh, power of PV, EV battery power and, uh, and grid power and also you can see that the batteries uh, keep on charging mode right, the sources keep on increasing with the constant rate because we are controlling the charging power at around uh, 2000 watts that means at around uh, 1900 1, to 2000 watts ok. So then that SOC of the battery right is keep on having uh, same uh, that mean uh, equal that mean uh, similar slow for a change in irradiation condition okay now you can see that when uh, pv power increase from 0 to 1000 right so there is a reduction in the uh, power from the grid okay because you have to maintain that uh, pv power charging is around uh, 1900 to 2000 okay so that's why the, the pv power is that means grid power is reducing here so when changing the power variation in the PV okay. so here EV is keep on charging and uh, with respect to change in irradiation condition okay so this is working of this model thank you